I rise to uh, make comment on the flippant remarks made by uh, our uh, member over here, Mr Shoebridge. Uh, it's not uh, a funny or laughing matter to talk in terms of why people should have access to suppressors. Uh, it is an issue that has nothing to do with whatsoever uh, of knowing where someone is shooting from uh, or the amount of noise coming out of the end of a barrel somehow informing you that you uh, won't be shot or you might be shot. The reality is if you are going to be shot, uh, you will never hear the, That's right. the, you'll never hear the noise at all. That's the reality of it. Uh, I've used uh, suppressed firearms in New Zealand in many, in, uh, over the years in many, in many cases. I've used suppressed firearms in the United Kingdom uh, over the years. Uh, they are not silent, but what they do is protect your hearing and also allow you, if you're uh, hunting uh, animals, to uh, more easily get a second and, if necessary, a third shot at the animals that you're trying to kill. It's more efficient, it's more humane, and it's much better. These silly arguments, these silly arguments about wanting to hear where the shots are being fired. And I've heard uh, Mr Shoebridge say this in the past in relation to his whinging about state forest hunting and things like that, that people in state forests, if they hear where the shots are coming, somehow or other they will be able to stay away from them. Well, what an absolute load of crap. Okay? What an absolute load of rubbish. R absolute rubbish. The reality is people don't hear the shooting because the majority of the time they're nowhere within the near the vicinity and that trained and proper recreational and licensed recreational shooters, the first and most important thing they deal with is identifying their target. That's why in New South Wales you have not seen, uh, certainly since 1996 or even before that, hardly ever a situation where anyone is shot accidentally who is a bystander. It just doesn't happen. And the issue of sound around that is a complete fiction. And you know it is. The shooters and fishers can't have their venison and eat it too. The fact is, if, if, if their argument is that uh, in relation to wanting to kill animals, the benefit of having a noise suppressor or a silencer is if you miss with your first shot, you don't scare them, and you get them with your second or your third shot, what's the difference between animals and people in those circumstances? Uh, and, and, and so they can't have one argument for animals and another argument for people. Honestly, talk about misrepresentation and again obfuscation. Who talked about missing? I said if you hit the animal the first time and you want to kill a number of pigs, you can shoot the second or third or the fourth. That's the reality of what I said. And it, and it makes no difference whatsoever. That's the reason why you have them, because you can be more efficient in relation to controlling feral animals if that's what you want to address. Don't try and compare it to human beings. And again, don't try and talk in terms of, oh, if I can hear this distant shooting, somehow or other I'll be safe. What a load of rubbish. Okay.